In this tutorial, I'll show you how to add a count up or a countdown timer in DaVinci Resolve. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, I'll begin by adding uh, some footage here. And the reason why you may want to do this is probably you want to create something like uh, a timeline of sorts. Uh, let's say, for example, in this scenario, you're doing some workout videos and you want to have a timer available for your videos to kind of show people like, for example, this particular kind of looks like a reverse push-up, uh, how long it takes or how long until the next kind of push-up. Uh, so we have this one that goes like that. And then we've got the next uh, push-up uh, using some weights, how it looks like. So we've got our footage. Next up, let's add some effects and we are just going to add a custom text. I'll click on effects up here. And then I'm going to get uh, the custom text and just drop it right there. Now, once I drop it there, I can just move it up to here. And uh, that is the first option. So once you do that, uh, with the inspector selected, uh, that is here, and then the video, you can see the custom title here. If I right click on this custom title, there are a ton of options you can do. But of interest to us is time code. If I click on this, everything goes to 000 right inside there. And if I play our clip uh, right inside here, you'll see our timer rolling with this. Now, that's really awesome, but probably some of the times uh, at the end here, you may not want, and these are the frames, these are the seconds, these are the minutes, these are the hours. If that is not something that you'd like uh, to kind of work with, then there's an easy way to kind of take care of that. And what I'll do is, I'll come back here uh, to this particular option, scroll down, and then we've got a write-on feature here. So if I adjust this side, the time on this side is actually going to be cut off. So I'm just going to adjust it to where I want it to be. Let's say I want it to be uh, up to the seconds uh, uh, option here. Let's say remove that colon again. And let's move it to the side slightly. And it takes care of that. And we can actually leave the frames option available uh, right there. So when you actually play this back, what we get is something that looks like that. That's more or less a count up timer uh, that is showing people how long that particular section is. Now, for exercise videos, cooking videos, showing what's next, countdown timers are much, much better. So what we can do here is we can just right click on this and create a new compound clip. And we can call it uh, countdown timer, and then click on create. And once we do that, it's super simple now to kinda uh, make this timer into a countdown timer. So I can just right click on it, and then change clip speed, and then click on reverse speed. Once I do that, I'll click on change. And if I go to the start of this particular clip, We'll now see that the timer goes from 9, 8, 7, 6, all the way to when uh, that particular clip kind of ends. So uh, if this is something that you wanted uh, to work on, uh, that is something that you can use right there. So I can actually uh, do that. Uh, and it's super, super simple, super handy, especially for whatever uh, activity that you're showing. So for example, now you can easily, let's just... Uh, use, sorry, let's just now use uh, the different options here uh, to position uh, our timer where we want it. Let's say we want it somewhere like right about there. So if we go home, you can easily show your timer down there. It looks really good, uh, shows how long the next exercise or fitness uh, training is up and so on and so forth. So. That is how you can easily create a count up or a countdown timer that you can add to your videos in DaVinci Resolve. I hope this tutorial is of value to you. Thanks for watching.